Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I just wanted to do kind of a springtime get ready with me. Wanted to talk about my goals for spring and summer. I wanted to also just do a very fun springy look, kind of capture the essence that I'm craving right now, and I'm excited to share it with you. Before we hop in as far as my accessories go, my little boo earrings, I don't know where they're from, unfortunately, um, but this necklace was from the Odin's Eye like George's Divine collection that launched last year. I don't know if the jewelry's still available, but that's where this necklace is from. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop in and play with some makeup. Hi friends, how's it going? We are going to do some makeup together. Um, I already primed before I did my brows. If you've been here before, you know, but if you haven't, I like to do primer first so it can sink into the skin while I do my brows. And I don't do brows on camera because that's just boring. I just throw brow gel in and fill in the gaps. It's it's nothing fancy. Uh, but the primer I use today is the Flawless Beauty Primer by Pixie. I love this. I feel like it just leaves such a beautiful glow. Like even on a day that I wouldn't wear makeup, I just think this is so pretty because it just gives my skin a little something, a little boost. Um, and it layers beautifully with stuff on top of it as well. Uh, but we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna start with a tinted moisturizer. We're going for a very springtime focused look today because um, I'm gonna be filming my spring makeup favorites right after this, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to use some of the things that I plan on featuring, so one of them being a tinted moisturizer because I feel like if I'm even gonna wear foundation in the spring, it's, it's gonna be light, it's gonna be sheer. Um, this is the ColourPop one in the shade Fair 1N. Some bloops on my sponge and just start blending it out. This is super, super sheer. If you do not like sheer or a tinted moisturizer, you would hate this, but if you're like me and you enjoy a sheer to light coverage, this is amazing because it just melts into the skin so beautifully. It's so lightweight. But how's it going? How are you? What's new with you? In this video, alongside of playing with some springy things, I just wanted to talk about spring and summer in general. I, you know, I hate spring and summer, specifically summer. Spring, spring's fine. I'm, I'm still fairly content right now, but as it continues to get hotter and hotter outside here in Florida, and I live in central Florida, it's just swampy, it's muggy, it rains every day, it's hot, it's just not a good time. And I'm miserable every spring and summer for the most part. We still have a few cool days ahead of us, like some crispy mornings, so I'm not quite there yet. Um, I'm gonna use my Makeup by Mario concealer, by the way. And I'm just going to just kind of conceal some little spots right around here. Um, but all this to say, I, I don't wanna be miserable this spring and summer. And I know that's easier said than done. And I am feeling very optimistic. While it's not quite a thousand degrees yet and the muggiest it's gonna be, I, I just want to enjoy more. I want to romanticize spring and summer. I want to have fun things to look forward to. I want to have things to be excited about and things to enjoy. Now, there are certain things that I'm just, I'm not gonna do. I'm not a beach girl. I'm not a good Floridian. I don't wanna hang out on the beach. I hate the feeling of the sand. The ocean scares me. The closest I'll get to ocean activities is a cruise. <laughs> I don't wanna be in the ocean. That's terrifying. Um, the sand is gross, but I do like beach towns. Like I love walking around St. Augustine. I love it so, so much. I love, like checking out local little shops. And I love the touristy beachy little gift shops. I think they're so funny. And there's so many beaches in Florida, so many cute beach towns, and I wanna explore more of them. Even if not to go hang out on the beach itself, cause that's just not me and Zane's vibe, but to like just go explore the town. I think that could be really fun. There are so many that are definitely like a day trip away from me, like just a couple hour drive, hang out for a bit, come back home. Nothing crazy, nothing wild. Doesn't even really cost money aside from gas and just whatever food we buy. Just a fun way to explore. Use my Halo Glow bronzer from e.l.f. So that's something I wanna do. I feel like there are so many beach towns that I've just never visited because I just have such a vendetta against beaches. Um, but that sucks. Like I could be missing out on a really cool town because I again, I love St. Augustine even though I don't care about the beach. So maybe there's other beach towns. So if you live in Florida. <laughs> Do you, do you recommend anything specific? I don't even think I've been to any besides St. Augustine in years because that's just my go-to if I'm gonna go to one. Um, not really a Daytona girly. I don't know if anyone really is though, aside from people traveling from out of state. Um, but let me know, let me know. Another thing kind of on the topic of water, 
Um, I'm not necessarily scared of all water, mostly just the ocean. I used to love going to like pools in the springs and stuff like that. But as I've gotten older and as the body image issues have grown worse in my brain, I hate being in a bathing suit, which really sucks because it really hinders so many of the things that I allow myself to do. And I just really want to try harder to overcome that. Like if I've ever been anywhere where people are in a bathing suit, like the cruises I go on, I hardly ever go in the pool or anything. I'm not looking at other people's bodies and judging them. So like, why am I so worried about other people judging mine? So many people are just worried about their own business. And if anyone really is like judging me that hard, that's a them problem. That's not a me problem. Uh, side note, I'm gonna use the Sunny Liquid Flush from Glaminatrix. Actually, what if we did a little combo? So I kind of want to use both. I want to use Spritz from Milk Makeup and I want to use the Flush from Glaminatrix. So I'm just gonna rub some of this all over this weird jelly blush. These are kind of sheer, but they're really pretty. And I feel like they build and layer quite nicely. And I like the glow they leave behind. But it's something I do want to get over. I want to overcome that feeling of being insecure in a bathing suit. I want to just do what I need to do. I mean, really, I'll be in the water anyway, so no one could even see me. <laughs> I'll be in the water. But I want to go to the pool more. I have a pool in our neighborhood that's kind of nice. And I've never stepped foot in it. And we've been living in this neighborhood for three years now yeah almost three years it'll be three years in april um so that's a shame that i've gone this long and just not used our pool um i want to visit more springs i used to go to the springs all the time i grew up going to like blue springs and floating down rainbow river i think i've been to fanning springs but there's so many more springs in our area that i've just never been to and i want to venture out and do more of that that's so fun. Like I just want to sit in a big tube and just float around and just let life be life. You know, I want to enjoy more things, more activities. I want to go to water parks. I want to open that like childhood fun. <laughs> you know, I used to just be so carefree, loving water as a child. And then my own insecurities got the best of me as I've gotten older. And that's a, that's a real shame. Shame on me, honestly. And I mean, also shame on society, but shame on me. Cause I mean, it's my, my choice to act this way. You know what I mean? But I want to do more water parks. I know there's not like a ton, but I mean, I love the theme parks in Orlando, but I've never been to Volcano Bay. I think I've been to either Typhoon Lagoon or Blizzard Beach once. Well, I know I have. Um, when I was a kid, it was for like a field trip, but I haven't been ever since. So I want to do that. I really want to go to, I think Typhoon Lagoon is the one that's about to open up using my e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. If I forget to mention something, it'll all be in the description box, by the way. I'm just like on a roll chatting about my spring and summer fantasies. <laughs> but I really wanna go to like the water parks. I think that could be really fun. And if it's not, at least I can say I did it. <laughs> like maybe it won't be as fun as an adult as it was when I was a kid. A lot of things are that way. But maybe it'll ignite something new, something exciting. And at the very least, I really just need to use my own pool in my own neighborhood. <laughs> It's also never that busy either, so I really just need to get over myself. I want to use our grill more. That feels like a spring and summer activity, right? Go grill some veggie burgers or veggie dogs on like a grill as opposed to inside. <laughs> just something a little different, you know? My birthday is in July and we're going to New York. It'll be my 30th birthday and I'm so excited. And something that I've wanted to do forever but never have because we've just never really gone to New York during like the prime time of year for it. Um, is I want to go to Coney Island. I'm sure it'll be maybe not as great as I'm expecting, but I've never been to Coney Island and I feel like Coney Island in New York in the summer, that just feels like such a vibe. <laughs> Even if we only go for a little while just to see it. I think that would be super fun. I might layer just a tad more blush, just like right here. I feel like I want to be pretty blushed today. I think it'll be very, very cute. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Kind of like draping right at the top of my cheekbone, going toward like the edge of my eye. That is so pretty. Especially now that I read more too, like it could be so fun to like sit out outside under an umbrella, feet in the water or something like that and just read, relax, lots of sunscreen because I, don't want sun damage, <laughs> but I don't know. 
I just, I want to have fun this summer. I don't want to be miserable. And like, is this going to be my new favorite time of year? No, probably not. Like I'm still going to be counting down the days for early Halloween decor to be in stores so I can start getting the spooky vibes while I await spooky season again. But I can make it less miserable, you know? I have the power to do that. It's all a mindset thing. So I guess now I ask you, what are some things you love to do in the summer? What are some things you look forward to? What are some things you like to do if maybe you're like me and you tend to not like summer very much? Are there any things you do to, I don't know, bring yourself out of it a little bit? I was thinking I could maybe like throw like a fun little party for some of my friends, like where we all make like fun little summery snacks or something, like a cookout or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I want, but I just know that I don't want to be miserable this summer. Life is so short. Like I'm about to be 30. Let's say I live to be 70, you know? That's only 40 more summers left. Like that's crazy. Am I gonna be miserable for all 40 of them? Like that sucks. And especially since I live in Florida, like it's not even like our summer is a true three months. Like our summer kind of starts soon. <laughs> Like really once we get through our last couple crispy mornings, it's basically already summer. We have like a couple weeks of winter, a couple weeks of spring, and then it's summer again until like November. And then we get a couple weeks of fall and then our couple weeks of winter and it just cycles again. So I just need to find fun things that I enjoy and make me happy despite it being hot and miserable. So that's my goal. I wanna try to romanticize summer more. I wanna do fun things and enjoy and I think I could find a lot of joy in simply just getting back in the water and not worrying about what I look like. I am going to spray with my Rare Beauty setting spray. I will highlight my face later and we'll move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I want to use the Gourmet Girls and Steph's Beauty Sash Nueva Vita palette. I've used this a couple times on like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, but I haven't used it like on a long YouTube video yet. And I kind of want to, because I think this is going to be a fun springy palette. So I'm going to prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Honestly, this look is going to be kind of simple. I just want like a shimmer fluffed all over the lids. And then I want like pops of color on the lower lash line and inner corner. And then I want to do a winged liner. I'm kind of feeling a big wing, especially because I just got my Likely Makeup Lash Order. And I want to wear one of my new pairs. This one's Delicate. And I'm gonna have to trim those for sure. That's definitely bigger than my eyeball. Um, but I don't wear full lashes very often. So I figured I would test the waters with that again with a winged liner. And I think that'll be cute. Just something bold, but then pops of fun color. I wanna do something kind of peachy purple. <laughs> kind of playing on the peach and purple that I already have going on with my cheeks and my shirt. Uh, so yeah, I do think I wanna start with Blessed, the shimmer. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. This is from Game Beauty, it's an E06. And I just wanna kind of fluff this all over the lid. I just want a little bit of a kind of shiny situation to kind of hang out behind my winged liner. I think it'll be cute, I think it'll be pretty, and it'll allow my lower lash line and inner corner to really be the stars of the show for this look. And now, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and do my winged liner just so I can place everything else. So this is my Rare Beauty liquid liner. It's my favorite. And I'm just gonna do a little wing and by little, it'll probably be big, yeah. Cause I just, it's hard for me to not do a big wing. So I'm just gonna swoop that in and connect it down toward my inner corner. Just kind of make sure that tail is connected. All right, we're getting somewhere. Now I just need to fill this in and then I have to do the other one and then perfect them and make sure they look as even as possible. But this is where we're at so far. I'm definitely gonna have to fix that. All right, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, I wanna use Dreamer, this lilac shade, and I wanna just smoke this on that lower lash line. I did do something similar-ish to this on my Instagram, so if you saw that, I just, I liked the vibe and I wanted to kind of do that again, but like beefed up a notch. So that's what we are doing here today. So I'm just like heavily smoking this purple kind of toward that wing. I'm just gonna take the brush that I used for the shimmer on the lid, and I'm just gonna buff that out. A little bit. I'm gonna take that neon peachy shade. It's so, so pretty. And I'm just gonna like really pack this 
in this front part of my lower lash line. Not really like full on in my inner corner, more like just the inner corner of that lower lash. I want it to be a cute little pop next to the purple. Something kind of like this. This specifically is what I'm craving for spring this year. Like purple, specifically lavenders, but really any purple. And then like a neon-y, like peachy orange. I think it's just so, so, so pretty. And then I am just gonna take Blessed again and just like properly highlight the inner corner, like above that orange a little bit. Just get like a nice little spotlight, that's cute. I think I'll highlight my face with this as well, actually. I think that would be quite lovely. But I've had a, a good time with this palette so far. And I just think this would be a really fun one for spring. I have quite a good selection of palettes that I'd like to kind of try to focus on for spring, but we'll see. I mean, I'm constantly testing out new things too, but I'd like to maybe revisit some of these, especially ones that I haven't used in a hot minute. I'm gonna highlight my face now. This is just a little fan brush from Lethal. Ooh, cute. I like that. Yeah, that's really pretty. I approve of that message. So, so sparkly. <laughs> Here is the look complete. I really like this. I can't believe I haven't worn like a big full lash in so long. I feel so pretty. These are so gorgeous. I don't know if I said before, but they're in the style delicate. I got like four pairs from the brand and these are gorgeous. They're just so fluffy and fluttery and long. I feel like I could fly away. I feel like a little fairy. <laughs> yeah, pencil I threw in is the lavender one from Odin's Eye. And then for my lips, I just wanted something kind of peachy, you know, to go with the, the whole situation. Um, so I went with the Lively Lip Pencil from Rare Beauty, and then I topped it with Coconuts About You Yummy Gloss from CoverGirl over top of it. And this is the look. I hope you like it. I did add my little boo earrings. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video though, I don't know where they're from because they were a gift, but they're amazing and they're wonderful and I feel cute. So without further ado, let's zoom out and finish up this video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and hanging out and joining. Um, like I said, let me know your favorite things for spring and summer. Give me some more things to try to like enjoy and look forward to. Um, I need it. I need the motivation. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, leave some springtime emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. You can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel membership. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.